In case you've not guessed, this video is about this car behind me, which is my BMW 330 that I forgot that I owned. So let's have a look at it and find out why I ended up forgetting that I owned it. So before I get into the story of the car, let's just have a look around it and see all the terrible, terrible things that are wrong with it. These wheels for a start, absolutely disgusting. Need to get those sorted. There will be a video coming up where I'm going to fix these, but I don't know how I'm going to do it because I've never done it before. So that's going to be really fun. Also, this wheel down here. When uh, everyone went crazy over all the fuel prices, I was racing someone and I didn't know that there was a, a pile up, uh, a tailback on the hill. Um, and there was a petrol station at the bottom and I came up to the top of the hill, went over it and then there was a big queue in front of me and I had to slam the brakes on and I gouged that wheel to death. So that's terrible. We've got, you know, tell your cat, I said, pss, 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 pss. Um, that's got to stay. Although that was before I realised that you had to peel that off. So that looks shit. Maybe that should go. This is terrible. I'm going to clean this today. No time like the present. And I've just been down to Halfords and got some convertible hood stuff. So that's getting done. Knife party sticker, represent, I'm not getting rid of that. Um, body work, yeah. The parking sensors don't work. Um, one of them's kind of missing. That number plate does say pussies. It's a different story. Um, it's the pussy wagon. As I said, it was a reflection of me, age 26. So it's had black grills, as it should. And I've put those halo lights in. But because they're cheap Mickey Mouse shit from China, they don't work. And yeah, this roof, I didn't pressure washer at least i don't oh no i did i did it at the tesco pressure washer okay yeah that was me but that's going to get sorted now but inside uh, it's i like it in here right these came from when bowplex shut down and they became hollywood bowl which had a much more boring interior i went in there as they were uh stripping it all out and said can i have your carpets so i got those so i've got proper bowling alley floor mats jump leads obviously because it never gets started so it's always dead when i go to start it of course i've got the little uh matching you can't okay you can see them i've got the little matching uh mats in the back so like i said the car is a reflection of me from a few years ago but i don't want to change it and i have had thoughts about selling it and every time i come to think of selling it i think how miserable life would be without it so i've decided i'm not going to sell it I'm going to keep it but because it's not my only car now because i've got a bit more money it needs to be done up so now is the time to stop neglecting it and to start loving it so every year obviously when you get your mot done you can see the difference with the mileage and i've done 200 miles in between that between the last mot and the one that's due in january so i'm trying to keep it below 104k for some reason i don't know why i don't like the number four so i'm just trying to keep it as a three um, it doesn't get driven because, I don't know, I moved on to Citroëns and, you know, th this year the summer's been crap, so that means it hasn't got driven and there's just been a lot of excuses to why I haven't done stuff to it. And I've just noticed, sorry, look, my objects in mirror are losing stickers. See, so that's that's basically the dickhead that I was a few years ago and I still feel like I'm him now, so... I've got that to sort out, the roof, the wheels. I'm going to do little bits of the bodywork. And oh, yes, down here, how could I forget? For some reason, I've ended up with a portrait of the Queen. She normally goes in there. Her Majesty is my co-pilot. Right, I'm going to get on with it now. I'm going to start cleaning the roof. I've just been and picked up this Maguire stuff. They're not paying me, obviously. Why would they? Um, but we'll see if it's any good. So they're going to get, <laughs> we're going to get a review of Maguire's convertible top cleaner. And they don't really seem to give you any instructions, so I'm just going to have a guess and see how it goes. Right, wish me luck. You know, in my videos, I've realised that I actually say wish me luck quite a lot. And the reason for that is because I need luck, because I have not got a clue what I'm doing. So, like I said, I bought some Maguire soft top cleaner. Doesn't say how you use it. Oh, hang on. What's this? Do you know what? Men don't read instructions and I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to get a microfiber cloth because I just looked online and said don't use anything else other than a mic microfiber. And also don't use pressure washers, which I nearly did because I borrowed one. Um, so here I have one microfiber, one bottle of this and uh, the, I don't know. Spray it on and leave it I think is probably the best plan of action. Okay, I sprayed this on the roof a few times now. One thing that I do have to say about it is it doesn't smell very nice at all. It smells like public toilets and um, 
why on earth would you want that as a scent? They could have just put like strawberry in it or something. But it's Meguiar's and they're meant to be a good brand. So we'll see if it does what it says on the tin. I'm gonna use quite a lot because obviously this card never gets used. It just sits in a garage gathering dust. So I'm gonna keep spraying on a bit more. And then once I've used probably half the bottle, I don't know, leave it five minutes and wash it off. Okay, it might be, it might be time to read the instructions on this. Uh, okay, so I have got to clean some fights mildew stains. Shake well for best results. Okay, off to a bad start. Uh, what did I do? Remove debris. Apply liberally and agitate with a soft brush. Rinse top thoroughly with water. Okay, right, well, I'm, I'm going to do my own thing. So it's not going to be a very good review if I didn't follow what they said, but I can't follow instructions, so fuck it. I'm sure I could have found and followed a guide online about how to do this properly, but I decided there's no fun in that, and I like to just wing it in life. I don't have the attention span because I've got raven, ravent, ravenous, rampage, just whatever, really bad ADHD, and no, I can't concentrate for five seconds, so what is the point of even trying? I accept my limitations. So I've covered the roof in it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe it down with this a little bit and see how it looks, and if it doesn't really do very much, then that will be my review of Myers Maguire's hood cleaner. Mm. I mean, it, it does say agitate with a brush, and I have found this metal one, so yeah, as if I'm gonna fucking do that. Okay, I've concluded that the old methods are the best. I'm going to just pressure wash it because Maguire's turned out to be a bit useless. So, sorry, and I'm probably talked myself out of them ever caring if my channel goes really big. But I'll go for who else is on this thing? WD40, they can sponsor me. Right, the car has had time to dry and <laughs> yeah, that's gonna need doing again. That did not go the way I wanted. The uh, the front of it, that, oh God. Now I was gonna say that came out better, but it didn't. I don't know what to do about this. I think this is a job for the Romanians in the car wash. That is, uh, who's gonna get this next? I have noticed this pressure washer is helping chip all of this horrible old paint off. And I reckon if I, actually go ahead and take all the paint off it will incentivize me a bit more to do something about it so i'm going to try and pressure washer all of the old paint off these awful alloys i hope i said a second ago on my alloys obviously if i didn't i don't mean the paint of the actual car i mean the horrible alloys so i'm going to give it a go and we'll see what happens okay i am hoping for the best and expecting the worst <laughs> Okay, this is actually quite fun, so I'm gonna carry on doing this and I might just do one wheel, I might do all four, don't know. <laughs> but I have now just thought to myself, that's not really gonna solve the problem of the back part of the wheel. And this is kind of ruining the next video, which is gonna be sorting the alloys out anyway, but I don't know. I'm going to do this one just for fun because I'm probably never going to dry the car <laughs> until the alloys are done anyway. So what difference does it make? I am still going to obviously have to fight the layer of primer. Um, I don't know. I'm enjoying myself for now, so I'm going to carry on. Um, it's not like it's going to make the car look any worse. So, yeah. <laughs> looks 
better already. Uh, just wash all the paint off and then I'm ready to go home. So another successful day here at the Questionable Car Club Garage. Thank you for watching. Join me next time when I shall be giving you another look around the progress that's going on with the BX16 valve. And then eventually someday I will come back to this and we will pick up where we left off from this wheel onto the others. Until then, see you next time. And please remember to like, subscribe and do all of that stuff because I need your love. Farewell.